What's up guys? So, welcome to my lab. This is where I do all of my fly tying. I've got a bench here with lots of stuff rigged up, ready to go. Today, we're gonna learn some cool stuff. We're gonna talk about the fly that I caught my muskie on back in May. That's actually the last time you guys probably heard from me, so sorry about that. Uh, you know, kind of haven't been fishing nearly as much as I would like to because, you know, life. But we're gonna change that. We're gonna, it's gonna be a big fall. Try to do, if you guys like this, some more instructional videos on how to tie flies, how to, um, what to work with, the tools that you're using, the things that you can do to make your own baits because it's really cool. That muskie that I caught on the fly, uh, not only was it my first muskie on the fly, but it was also the first big toothy fish that I caught on a fly that I designed and tied myself. So I'm going to teach you guys how to tie that today. Uh, I'm going to tie a new color pattern. That fly is called the train wreck. Okay. It's uh, a bit affectionately named about what musky fishing has done to my life. So all, all worth it though. Um, those fish are so fun to catch. I hope you guys can uh, learn how to tie this, try it out, um, get out and fish it. So without further ado, this is going to be the train wreck. Uh, this thing is super easy to tie. It doesn't take a whole lot of stuff. Basically all of the ingredients, when it gets done, this is what it kind of looks like. This is a single hook train wreck. You can do this on an articulated streamer if you want to. Articulated basically just meaning that there's two hooks with a joint in the middle. It's like a jointed shad wrap for you guys that like to pull walleyes. Yeah, those. It's super simple to tie. There's gonna be basically just three ingredients, really. Um, the main body of this thing is made up of a strong rooster saddles. I usually do two different colors just to have some contrast. Um, this one's gonna be a yellow over white. So we've got yellow and white rooster hackles. I've got yellow and white bucktail. Now, bucktail holds water, so I don't use a ton of it. Um, I use it basically because it's sparse. It makes a big impression. You can stretch it out and flare it so it gives the impression of a bigger fly in the water without actually adding a ton of different weight to that fly. And finally, on the top, I'm going to use Palmer chenille. Basically, this has got some sparkle. It's going to give a big flashy head to that bait. And then we can tie these things all together. At the end, we're going to finish it all with some glue. So hopefully have some cool names by the time this is all done. What I want from you guys, lots of comments on this. I'm gonna be tying a new color pattern. I need to name this color pattern. Creativity is awesome, so I'm hoping for creative points. I don't care if it's dirty. I really, I, I love dirty names, they're funny as hell. Me and the other seven fish crew are going to pick a winner. I'm going to ship this fly to someone um, and hopefully you can get out and throw it and catch some fish, uh, figure out how, and maybe get hooked on fly fishing.